So, like... What are you eating, Mark? Cookies. <laughs> He's like, to mad pride in it, like, yeah, I'm eating cookies, bitch. What's good? What's really good? I'll stop eating when... We we're start? Live. Oh, yeah, we're live right now. Surprise. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Surprise. Welcome to the Black and Yellow Talk of Gamers, as always, with uh, super cringy slash funny slash what the fuck opening. Uh, still, it doesn't beat that one time with, what was it, hookers or something like that, or prostitutes, Nick? <laughs> oh, yeah, I won't forget that one. It was a, a I, great I time. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, let me turn off my AC because it is all open, so. Alright, cool. Yeah, so, welcome everyone. And thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you are following all of our good shit slash, uh, you know, our Twitter, not Twitter, all of our Twitters, our uh, blog, and our Facebook, and Twitch, obviously. Please, and thank you. Mostly please. Oh um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're going to be talking about, what are we talking about? Western anime and <laughs> Eastern cartoons. I know what you're thinking. What the fuck is that? What What are you, these guys talking about? That doesn't make sense. Western anime, Eastern cartoons. Well, they're the same thing, right? Not really. Kind of. Yeah. No way. They're both um, animation. Something you watch. They're both animation and <laughs> yeah. anime. Like if you actually translate it, it is Japanese cartoons. I'm pretty sure it's like something like that. So. So it's just like shorthand for like animation. Animation, which is cartoons. Yep. Yep. Indeed. Word. So, uh, what yeah. this, uh, <laughs> yeah, what, what this is not about is, uh, for those of you who might be coworkers and or friends of mine, uh, at all what I had said originally, <laughs> this is not about the cultural impacts of Western, uh, Western cartoons on. I thought you guys say like tortillas Japan or something. Or no, I was like, Japanese what? anime on America. Also not about hentai. Maybe. Completely wrong. Yeah. Also not hentai. So. Wait, it's not hentai. There's that too. No, sorry, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the tentacles? Damn it. Yep. Holy uh, shit. I need tentacles in my life. Fuck. But yeah. So again. <laughs> What the hell? Sorry. <laughs> this is the point we are not stand up. I comedians. thought that joke would stick more. Down, I guess there wasn't enough suction. <laughs> Holy shit. My bad. You know, man. Wow. Glad to be back. Something is the first step to succeeding. That is very Especially true. when they're succubus. They anyway, don't usually have tentacles, though. Moving on. Please stop. Please. Stop. Dude, we can go down this rabbit hole. I'm I down. know. I know. <laughs> stop this is the one time I advertise this. The one time I advertise this to people I know. What hentai? Anyway. <laughs> yes. I want the. Where did I don't remember where I saw it. It was um, it's a plushie of a of a chicken wearing a tie. Hentai. Oh, I get it. It was adorable. Uh, that I wish you tied me into that a little sooner. <laughs> a rooster in like a block form. Cock block. That too. But, merch aside, one of the huge things that people like to reference nowadays uh, as like an Eastern cartoon example is Avatar. Or, I'm sorry, as a West Western anime style yeah. thing is Avatar. My personal, uh, my personal, yeah, it's really confusing. Uh, my personal choice, uh, actually, for this was Ruby, because originally Monty Um, the uh, creator, had designed the show to actually be a Amer an American anime, and it has its own liberties taken, it has its own unique components, but it's actually pretty much fit the bill. And I know Mark has a lot of thoughts and really great examples I didn't even think of. Yeah, uh, for specifically the what's it, Western anime we called it. Yes. Uh, like Nick said already, Avatar. It's very, like, just looking at the anime, uh, the the art style of it, it's not similar 
to anything that's like very like Western focused, like SpongeBob and stuff like that, or like even uh, Spider-Man, Batman animated series. Those aren't examples of this. But another good example is uh, Samurai Jack. Yes. Which I know a lot of people here have seen. Yes. Eh? Eh? So before yeah. we yeah. dive into all of the different kinds. Yeah, because yes, there are different titles, but why do you keep those in that category? Like, what about Samurai Jack, Ruby, and uh, what was the other one? Oh, Avatar. Avatar. Are, are like uh, fit the bill? What about it? Uh, I believe it's mostly because of the um, very similar like theming and art direction, and what else was I going? I feel the influence. I think the passion, too. You can, yeah. The passion and yeah, influence, you can tell. Yeah. It's the, uh, the essence, the very soul of the creator itself is clearly driving that down based off of this. In the same way that right now, if you watch anime, like No Game, No Life, they'll make references to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure from 30 years ago where they, have, they, they draw from that art style in Samurai Jack. There's a lot of components that you can tell are very anime-like. Um, there's even references to his other stuff like Powerpuff Girls, which is uh, not really anime-ish, but the <laughs> style. And I can't hate that, of... though. I, I'll, I'll <laughs> let it be where it lives, you know. If, you, if it wants to be anime, it could always go that direction if it wanted to. I, I mean, it you can say it's to. inspired. You yes, can definitely, definitely say it's inspired. Definitely. Because, like, it's very much the typical... It's like, a magical girl anime. <laughs> it's a magical I mean... girl, it's a shoujo at the same... Not shoujo. Shonen shoujo. at the same time. <laughs> Sorry, I got the wrong demographic. But yeah. Mm. Mm. So, so one thing uh, with these different uh, series, like uh, as you mentioned before, the influence is there. Look at uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender. Um, I remember when Legend of Korra was still going on. Uh, they actually had a Japanese studio do animation, which was super cool. Did you guys know that? No? no I actually did not. I literally only watched like the first two seasons. <laughs> That's really interesting. So, literally, it's more than just inspired. It's actually collaborated. But even that sort of thing is uh, really... You can tell the when that essence is drawn from there. So, <laughs> when you're uh, yanking, it down, was Studio Periot. See, I'm not, what else have they done? Yeah, That's actually my question. they've done, they done a done lot of like things. Um, hold on. Now I have to look this up, you people. <laughs> that was racist. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. What? <laughs> you people. Hey, like, so... Oh. Yeah. So they produced, uh, you know, and animated a few different series like it seems like some of their uh they got gto under on here uh tokyo goal bleach uh naruto yu haka show fucking belzebub twin star exorcist wow yeah they got a lot of shit under the belt so of Rekka, that one's an old and they also did it was a korean company that also worked on it too i forgot which company it was. I did see it for like two seconds. Um, hey, Baby Steps. Moha, my boy. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, um, they got a pretty big studio behind it. Uh, they're GTO. You should... Yeah, dude. GTO. I'm on Wikipedia, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's what it says. Naruto and Naruto Shippuden or TV Tokyo. Wow. Insane. Hmm. They've done a lot. Also so that's the thing when you have a, a series like that where you're saying oh yeah the influence is uh from japan and japanese yes. uh animation hey. it's like oh yeah it's there but yeah it's actually and physically there and <laughs> that's what uh creates uh definitely yeah. interesting uh time uh i guess i want to say uh timeline for the series itself because like last airbender by itself was pretty solid and you can even this there's two arguments like this two videos from two pretty big youtubers in the anime community you got um uh, damn i am losing it today uh what's his name mother's basement mother's basement and then arcada they both did one 
and they both were talking about how good it was and how you can actually argue that it is anime why it's anime and it's just it should be acceptable to say this is a good anime no matter what it doesn't mm-hmm. matter where it was uh, made it just fits all the demographics of anime and to be honest all in all in itself it just had a really good uh, story and it even had the whole uh <laughs> fillers and <laughs> it had a lot of those it had yeah, a lot to of push those. yourself into that one <laughs> yeah you had to push but it was worth yeah. it at the end of the day so definitely a great series uh, samurai jack definitely has the influence too uh, especially when with its return i haven't seen it yet i need to watch it have you watched like any of it not the return the first three episodes like alone blew me away i haven't like caught up because i've been busy ever since like japan so i definitely had to look into it again it gets dark like me it gets it gets very mature yes i got dark it's uh very mature um it is Uh, it is designed for it is designed for its correct demographic which is people who were 11 to 12 or like 10 to 12 when it first came out and are now mid to late 20s that is exactly the demographic it hits. See, I'm hoping Jackie Chan Adventures does that when it comes back. Oh, I'm really oh, hoping they do that. If they did that, like, I would be so hyped. And, like, that's how you keep the audience right there. Keep bringing back, like, these old series like that, and you'll win automatically. Um, so. That's yeah. absolutely right. And it, uh, Jackie Chan Adventures is a really good example right there of something that could be western anime it's got that very focused kind of style to it it's a unique art that's for sure that is not the typical style it's very sharp Mm -hmm. with thick lines the closest thing is something like 80s action anime such as um jojo's bizarre adventure where it has that very sharp features Mm -hmm. but even then it's an art style unto itself it is Mm -hmm. definitely something that is 100% 100% drawn from Eastern culture and then twist it around a little bit to make it action-y and Jackie yeah. Chan-like. But, I mean, everything's Zodiac-based. Everything's about the... I can't remember what it's called, the elemental orientation, where it's like they had those symbols. I used to have a ring of that. Are you um, talking about the... Um... Talismans? Not the talismans. No, no, no. It's, no, uh, the, the tal- the, they come after the talismans, right? Yeah, the, de- the, yeah, the demons, uh, like the dragons, like siblings. They have like the cube like, things, the like de- Ruby's yeah. cube. Yeah, he was oh, the dude. Oh, oh, I don't remember what that is either. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, why do I not remember this? It was, yeah, dude, then, dude, if you stuck with the show, like that next arc was really good, and then like yeah. after that, that's when it got a little crazy. Like yeah, a little it was, ridiculous. It was weird after that. Yeah. But it was good. I actually might just like rewatch it right now, like after this, just for. Dude, something. I even like the the Chi Vampire. That was so good. <laughs> like, there's yeah, so was, many great things that about was this funny. show. And everything was uh, I feel like there wasn't a lot of uh. Recycling, I felt like no. everything was right. like drawn that one time, yeah. and that's that was it. Yeah. So. And that's why I was saying the art style is unique unto itself. It's definitely something that was. That was Warner Brothers saying, you know what, we can do this, we can do this like animation style, and they're just like, bam, and they they kicked ass with it. It was amazing. Yeah. Um, that was that was way back. That was like uh, 2000 to 2004, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um. But right there. <sighs> see, I don't want to like uh, divert too much, but I do want to make this point with, uh, I guess, I think it was the creator of uh was it ren and stimpy he uh the way that he animates he makes sure that literally no frame is the same no frame is the same at all so i think it's kind of interesting how like some studios from japan use that idol that um that idea and uh create their anime that way where like konosuba is a good example where like you really don't ever see the same frames um at all Especially, like, the OP. The OP itself, after yeah, watching yeah. Mother's Basement. Like, that was definitely yeah. uh, they don't take. They don't take any shortcuts. So, they, I'm kind of uh, surprised. Actually that. I'm surprised there's not, a, like, a lot of uh, inheriting each other's uh, work, um, I guess, process. So, like, I kind of expected to see more, like, when Dragon Ball Z became a big thing. 
I'm surprised we weren't seeing more of that brought over here where, like, you're seeing the same fucking drawings flip back and forth, flip back and forth, flip back and forth. It's like, we don't <laughs> see that here at all, but I was kind of surprised because it's like, that's the most cost-effective way they could have done it. Oh, yeah. And it still was super popular. I remember it's the having... the effect. Yeah. Uh, I remember having a teacher in Nolan Tech who had a whole lecture on animation and showed us, like, a whole episode of Dragon Ball Z. And it was, like, one of the fights they had with... It was Frieza and Goku. It was just, like, that, over and over, different backgrounds. And he's like, look, nothing's changed. Oh, my God. How did they get away with this? Save so much money, you know? Fuck it. Yep. So... Uh, someone get away with a lot of things. Like, there's that one shortcut I've, like, witnessed a lot. That where they just cover their mouth so they can save costs on animating the mouth. <laughs> Oh. The person's just talking with like that's a coffee cup in front of the face, <laughs> or or they're drinking. That's that's the great. Thing. Yeah. Yep. Nice. So uh, yeah, I just thought that was interesting, but uh, all in all, the western. This is a western anime that we're talking about, right? Specifically. Yes. So, is there any other examples we have other than those? Because I know that, like. Jackie Chan Adventures, I felt like that was what more studios should have worked to create. But no one did. Except Avatar Last Airbender, but that was like a whole other <laughs> time frame, and that was like yeah. in itself, them that kind was almost of... almost a generation apart. Yeah, and they, they actually, like, openly said, we kind of wanted to make anime in the U.S. And they almost did. It's, like, super close to it. I, I would still consider it anime. I like it. It's it's a very good series. And Samurai I Jack is, so. in itself, it's in its own category. I don't even know what to call it. Let's call it good. It's, it's Getty <laughs> Getty Tartovsky. Because that guy just, all of his work is just random and good and crazy. It, it, it's wild. It really is. But... Uh, the other one that I've got, there's the first one I mentioned, and I want to throw this one at Lohan. Oh, yeah, Ruby, he's, right? Yep, he's a Rooster Teeth fan, just like myself. Avid. Yep. Avid watcher. yep. Again, if you couldn't tell from the poster. <laughs> can't see it. Yeah, oh, you can't see it? Oh, yeah. Come on, <laughs> I, see, I see the full screen on him. Yeah. Damn, dude. But... You're looking at, uh, was it Celestia's uh, titties? Next to <laughs> <face>. <laughs> Whereas I've got friggin' Deku next to me. Or Ooh. Next to me. Oh. Yep. Oh, man. You got a little girl, like, dropping down, and, like, her legs are kind of next to you. <laughs> Mark, Mark's got a uh, guts of sword by his face. <laughs> turn. And then Mikasa's, gets, uh, like, trying to come over into my panel. I'm like, nah, girl. Go to Aaron, bitch. <laughs> uh things to talk about that season but that's not the topic so <laughs> thoughts on ruby as both uh, an anime fan and a ruby slash rooster teeth fan okay uh, so like as an anime there was like a lot i was expecting it for it to be because i knew they they were deeply inspired by all the anime that they watched dead fantasy um, is a good example of what they were doing before that as well oh uh monty yeah, yeah. Um, which is not an anime, just like a no, short, but that's that shows short. his range of what he was capable of doing yeah. at the time and his yeah. ins- uh, what he was inspired by at the time too. Mm-hmm. Well, JRPGs they, and J fucking they games. They e- equipped them with uh, with a I don't know, like a dozen artists or some shit like that, and animators and all this stuff. And um, I think my initial thought was, okay, I'm I'm like enjoying the story, but like the animation was kind of like it got good uh, to a certain point because it was just a lot of storytelling in the beginning, and then probably around the middle of the series where they had that huge fight scene with the bird. It was it was cool. Uh, I think as a fan, I really enjoyed it, but there's there's a lot of people who couldn't like get used to the animation for the way they did to do. They do a lot of uh, motion capture 
and um, they were just they were just like doing 3D animation stuff like that. So um, I think I think people have to look past the animation. The animation may be different, but it achieves um, its target. It yeah, is... I mean, like even now they've uh it's it's gone the other way around where their ruby as a series is going over to japan to be shown instead of you know how it always happens 90 percent of the time where japan anime gets shown over here yeah and uh i know that it's actually a huge uh draw for a lot of people that it's kind of it's a good showing because like you said earlier on it was different if you watch just the trailers you would think this is an action anime through yep. and through you saw that that, that is what people expected yeah you saw monty's mocap and i i actually know one person immediately off the top of my head who watched the first two episodes and refused to watch it because she's yeah no that's that's not at all what i expected i didn't expect this to be a high school anime i expect this to be action the first season had action. <laughs> yes but I mean, I powered through because the first season was a little weird. But then when they brought it back, seasons two through four, amazing. Like I, I love yeah. it. It's really good. They've they've got a really solid story. They're not afraid to kill people off and make things serious. Make there be serious loss and repercussions. Spoilers. These are not a bunch of Mary <laughs> Sues. They are not invincible. No, I mean they're like they're supposed to be fourteen and fifteen. Yeah. So, and I mean, you you go up against a psychotic killer, you're gonna lose an arm and a leg and a head. Yep. Um, for me personally, um, if it wasn't who I knew was working on it when I first started watching the series, I would have never gave a shit. Um, mostly because you know how I feel about certain animation. <laughs> yeah, Nazi can't, over here can't stand it. Um, so kill them all, dude. <laughs> God, I, I just, I, I can't, dude. I can't. One of my friends was trying to show me, what's that one show you're you're watching on Netflix? Moha? Ajin? Yeah. Trying to show me, like, a, a cool clip from it. And they're like, uh. dude, look at this. It was Brittany, actually. She's <laughs> like, oh, look at this, look at this. Isn't this so cool? And I'm just watching, and I'm like... Oh. <laughs> uh... Yeah, it's it's nice, I guess. And then I walked away. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> and then like uh, another good example of that is uh, what is it? <sighs> Damn it! There's another series that someone showed me too. Oh, fucking Berserk! <laughs> I saw clips of Berserk and it made me want to shoot myself. Hundred percent. I guess uh, I shouldn't show you Kato. I've I've looked at Kato and I've also yeah. looked at um. There was a, a video from the anime man. He was talking about how this is the right way to go about 3D animation. Like, doing the whole hybrid. Like, it just yeah. makes more sense and it looks cleaner. So, yeah. But you can easily tell who's the main character or not. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> they put like, so much control. effort. Got that one screenshot of, like, a 2D hand-drawn guy and then a 3D animated guy talking to each other in the <laughs> same frame. It's like, I get the fact that that is the most cost-effective way to do it. But it's like, come on. Um, at least put more focus I, if it's only two characters on the yeah put some panels. synergy in there yeah i can't remember what show it was but they actually i'm sorry for the two tangents i'm about to make the first one being i can't remember <laughs> what it was but it's like a detective anime where this kid went off and just kind of worked for who basically l from death note and this kid was like super antisocial. He, to the point where he actually only viewed people as, like, a circle with their name on it. So the animators just drew them as circles. And then when they were, became important or a main character or something, you knew because they were actually drawn. And they were drawn beautifully. It's just if you weren't a main character, you had a circle with a symbol. And that was, that was who you were. It was, uh, it was pretty funny. But that was just one of those examples. And then as for the other component of the animation berserk i will absolutely admit has terrible animation the movement and I, I love berserk i'm a huge berserk fanboy but god help me if the animation is just not god awful because they'll be standing and the motions are like it's like they tried to take the sketching dolls like the ones that like figure like the the wooden ones and they tried to just 
mocap off of that <laughs> because all of the movements are very unnatural. The only natural things that they do are the action scenes. And if they had done the action scenes, basically how they do it in Ruby, that would have been fantastic. That would have translated so much better than just very low quality CG and some screens because they can do animation. There's certain scenes where it is a still and it's mostly it's, it's um, guts in his berserk armor, just like looking like, oh God, what have I done? And it's just like, they capture it perfectly. It's much like the traditional style of drawing him. And it kills me that they can't just do that. They have to use this crappy basis. CG. Yeah. And it's, it, it can be done. Ruby does it great. Ruby does CG action well. Even, like, again, Kenny's dislike of CG rubbed off on me. Over Yo, it, it's, it, it, it bothers you, but I can deal with Ruby's CG. It wasn't yeah. like ridiculously terrible especially when you kind of have an understanding of where they came from and what yeah, they yes. brought to the table watching had... red versus blue and then watching that it's like 13 seasons of that before they even started ruby yeah 12 probably something like that i think, I it, was think it was 13 or 12 no or it was one no 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 it was, it was a lot no, less than that. It, was, um, <laughs> it was eight it was it was actually eight because they did see they did season they, one they ruby. did they did nine they did and ten eight. with monty yeah and then they but, jumped over because I remember that was when they suddenly started doing all the motion capture stuff, and it was crazy because it's like, oh my god, look at this fight with Tex, and she's like doing all this crazy shit, and it was a it was wild because up to that oh, point, the, uh, they did this uh, in Machinima, this the storage fight scene, yeah, the storage fight scene, yeah, where yeah. they're fighting in that warehouse and like firing rockets and stuff, and she's just dodging and parrying and like beating the crap out of them, kicking uh, Griff in the in the nuts like every five seconds. I almost called him Jeff. Just because I haven't Pretty watched close. Red vs. Blue in forever. My yet. name is Jeff. Yeah. yeah. G off. So, uh, one thing I did want to point out, and I thought this was kind of funny, it just kind of hit me. Um, so, there's another series that I kind of wanted to mention, but then I realized, oh, wait, it's not an American show. No. Is it Canadian? Code Lyoko. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's a French show. It's, like French it's American. Show. It's, it's, it's French. Canadian. It's, it's French. Canadian, isn't it? I thought it was Canadian. I thought it was, I thought Canadian. It was Canadian too. I don't, I don't know. It's, I, it's, I, I even joked Canadian. But I, no, I don't it, know. it, it says uh, the series began its first run with 95 episodes on uh, September 3rd on France's France 3. Oh. Pretty sure it's France. Hell yeah, yeah it's France. That, that's directed by Jerome Moscadet. <laughs> and written by Sophie de Croset. Sounds pretty French to me. Country of origin, France. Can you say Original that again? Language, I didn't French. quite hear you. Well, that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because I felt like that would have been something I would have kind of uh, put in the same realm as uh, a Western yeah, anime. Definitely. That's still Western. That's still Western anime, yeah. I guess if definitely. we want to look at it as the whole. Kind of <laughs> they're on the globe. Considered I'm Western. Sure to the west yeah yes. so yeah so I yeah so that's a Big, good things example west of like israel is western I yeah west like... of the middle east is when i west. first watched that series it made me think that they were kind of aiming to do something similar to like a dot hack approach and then like i realized no it's not it's not at all it's like they're just throwing themselves into this other world and they create some cg bullshit and then it makes me like want to rage and then like i watch the rest of it and i'm like oh okay it's not bad and then I go back to that, and I'm like, oh my god, I hate you all. Um, also, <laughs> I just realized another one. Uh, Jeez. Totally Spies. You remember that? Yeah. I think that one kind of fits it, too. Like It, it didn't feel like a cartoon. Did you call it that? Huh? It, it, it was very much, like... It was Charlie's Angels. Only, like, the art can be considered that, because it's very no, much... No, 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 like, everything else is very not... American, but that was, like... Yeah, it's yeah. just the yeah, art. The art style, the art style like, definitely yes. fit it really well. Yeah. It kind of reminded me of uh, the same approach that Jackie Chan Adventures kind of went with. It's like, yes. artistically, that's what it looked like. And I was like, oh, yeah. nice. But well, it did have a lot of uh, typical anime tropes in there, too. Like, a whole, like, yes. school life stuff. You don't see that in Western cartoons. Oh, also... Not really, at least. You see it in, like, Western, like, live-action drama to come, whatever. Yeah. But not, like, any cartoons. So, Nick... <laughs> I have a question for you. Shoot. If, let's say, Berserk went with a hybrid, not hybrid like uh, Kato, 
but hybrid like Code Lyoko, where certain sections of the series Ooh. were CG, but not the whole thing. Some of it was 2D, and then some of it was CG. Would that I really be interesting? enjoyed that about Code Lyoko. I did too. I enjoyed that because it separated the two worlds. I still hated the CG, but I liked the fact that it was different. Hey, that CG wasn't that bad. It wasn't terrible. For I that hate, time, it was really CG. good CG. It was ahead of its time, I'll give it that. <laughs> It was ahead of his time. I mean, it's no Toy Story, but it's still a good CG. <laughs> since you're, since you're uh, officially yeah, employed. Don't get me developer. started about Toy Story. All right, what are you saying? <laughs> I was going to say, since you're officially uh, employed as a developer now, you need to get drunk and just watch Reboot. What's that? you never seen Reboot? You said Reboot? Yeah. Can that also be considered a... a <laughs> Wait anime? a minute. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Something I was going to say. No, 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 no. The dynamic is actually... I can't remember who created it, but... Oh, this one was Canadian. Okay. Yeah, that one was Canadian, I was pretty sure. But that... And I think it came out like 92 or 95 or some shit like that. Uh... But... Kenny Kenny hating CG aside, that's something actually I would think might be one of those precursors where it was... 94, yeah, okay. Yeah. It was one of those precursors to just kind of uh, the way that they did the CG was not how people had done CG up until that point. It had been very cartoonish, almost like how Claymation was. And while, yes, that still has a lot of those components to it, the art style could arguably be very similar to anime. Even the plot tropes they had, where they had stuff like a time loop very akin to I know Sailor Moon did it, Fuck. Uh, where they had a time loop and a component where you had to deal with your past. Like the there's an arc that they had in reboot that was very similar to actually a Sailor Moon, and I can't remember. I want to say it was Yu Yu Hakusho. Also, they had a very similar um, like arc tournament where arc? they kind of drew from it. I mean the whole the whole goddamn series was a tournament arc. <laughs> but... <laughs> 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 like, let's be honest with that one. But, man, I'm... I remember that, watching that uh, a while back and just thinking, this is pretty interesting. So, I mean, now I, I think I watched a clip the other day, and it's like 240p, and I just wanted to kill myself. But, I mean, it was... It was, it was, it was whatever. <laughs> so, Dude, I, I guess hate... to answer your question... To answer your question, uh... yes, I'd be interested to see Berserk like that, because... I can't think of a way they could fucking go worse. Cause I like, let's just say they do that with an action scenes, and then like with everything else, they went two D. Oh, I'd love that. If they did the action scenes like that, I'd be cool with it. Like the action scenes are not bad. In like 2D. you can't it's stuff like when they're running mm-hmm. and they're, they're that running, walking like, stupid they're running, thing. And they're walking. It's like and this. And then their their arms. Yeah, the upper half is working fine, but then the the <laughs> lower like, half of their the body fuck? is just like walking. But the upper half is full animation like you're in a dead sprint and it, it kills me when they're talking and they do this thing where like their their mouths will shake it's like the the meme from like a guy who opens the door and he's got like afro hair it's like the 70s you're just like, like oh i thought it thing. was i thought it was the mr krabs meme i mean <laughs> even that too it's just such a crappy way of doing it and it kills me but yeah. i mean it's it, it's it's all good Yep, but I feel, I feel we've. Uh, do you guys have any other um, Western? I was just thinking the same thing. Western we should probably animes? jump into the Eastern stuff. Eastern cartoons. Now this is the one that again is even more confusing of a term than Western anime. This is stuff that's typically, at least the examples I've got, are all Western, like actually mostly all American IPs that have been ported over to Japan. And while. You could argue things like My Hero Academia has a clear superhero influence, a Western superhero influence. One thing you can't doubt has a clear superhero reference is the Marvel anime that came out a few years ago. And I don't know if you get, any of you guys that are watching have seen them, but they did anime renditions of Blade, Iron Man, Wolverine, X-Men, and it was wild because the art style was not this comic book version of Tony Stark rocking his Iron Man armor that we've been seeing since 
the 50s slash Vietnam. And it's not the X-Men that we've been seeing since the 70s and 80s. It was full-on anime style. Yeah, it was kawaii as a motherfucker. (laughs) Have you guys seen that video? Oh my god, I'm pretty sure this is like relative, but there's like maybe a couple weeks ago I saw a video on Facebook and I was like, oh, this is this is the Japanese opening for X-Men that we should have got. And it's like, it's a sick-ass X-Men opening. Like, the animation opening is like, it's super sick. Like, why, why didn't we get this? We got some, it's just not the same. Randomness. Yeah. But I mean, even then, if you take like the X-Men intro that we had from like the 90s, like that, it, it opens up with da na 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 and then like just chimes in with all of them like flying by they zoom by and they have like their their x-men name in like a very traditional comic-y font like american style comic books so it's like jubilee jean gray wolverine cyclops all of them just kind of beast just kind of pop up but the anime was very 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 traditional anime it had the plot components and all of the animation style of or I'm sorry, it had all the plot and characters, dialogue, everything was very American, but the art style was and the location was decidedly Japanese. Wolverine especially made it a huge point that it's like, yeah, I'm in Japan. This is the reason they made it a huge plot point. Iron Man, they also made a huge plot point. Those are the two probably best examples I've got. Where with Iron Man, it's basically he got contracted out to develop deliver Iron Man suits to Japan because well, that's what he does. Japan. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's literally his whole thing. So he's like, here, here's five really kick-ass Iron Man suits, and then some asshole hijacks them. Yep. And it's like, well, now I gotta stay in Japan to identify like what went wrong and who's doing this and stop them. And they made it like just a Japanese arc of Iron Man. And if I were to take this and interject it with like any other Iron Man lore, it would fit. The only the only reason why you'd know it was different is actually watching it. If you heard it or someone told you about the plot, you would not be able to tell the difference. I mean, uh, yeah. let's see. Oh, and then the other one that I've got, personally one of my favorites, was the Supernatural anime. Uh, I don't harp on it too much uh, during the podcast or even in my uh, articles, but I'm a huge Supernatural fan. I'm super behind, but I'm a huge fan of it. So when they made a supernatural anime, and it was literally just the first season, it was pretty yeah, high. First season, yeah, it was kick ass. I was high. like, wow, okay, that's awesome. They had um, Jensen Ackles, but they did not have Jared Padalecki, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I didn't get that wrong. But I mean, it was great stuff. It was really entertaining. It was very well done because they had that gruff, gritty. We're rocking down uh, the highway in a 70s Impala listening to 80s rock while blasting <laughs> monsters in the face with a shotgun. The, uh, like, that's a the, super American thing to do. The, the art for it actually made them seem like super, super young. I know it's the first season, but they looked like, like extra young. From, from yeah, the they made art. them look like they were like late teenagers. Like 18. High school. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, uh, during the show, months, they were, <laughs> I want to say they were 25 and 27. In, in in story and now it's crazy because it's been going on for i want to say two seasons so now it's like in character uh jensen ackles character is like 40 almost oh they had jared they didn't have uh, jensen oh they had jared they didn't have jensen that's okay right. my bad uh I, I watched it a while ago i think i marathoned it when it came out but well, another fun fact yeah. madhouse i believe that 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 sounds like a madhouse thing you want also you want to know also why yeah, you know, I, I believe for shit like that. One season, never touched again. <laughs> <laughs> Studio Madhouse, everybody. But I mean, yeah, honestly, I don't. I actually don't. I don't feel like I see their style in that. But I think that was good because if Studio Madhouse, who has this whole for fuck's sake, and a great example, um, Helsing and Drifters. That was Studio Madhouse and Aya Hirano, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah. Um, those are very uniquely designed. They do not look anything like that anime. And I think that's a really great both 
breadth of skill that you can draw in such a different style, but also it's great attention to detail because that style didn't make anime caricatures of uh, Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki. It made them look very badass while staying true to the traditional and actual like background subject matter while still giving it a very decidedly anime touch. They didn't give they didn't give Sam a fucking mech suit and they didn't turn uh, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> they didn't turn Dean into a magic. Would you girl. still argue with that? Like or would you just accept it? I would accept it because I would love to see uh, that would make I feel like that would have gotten Jensen is it's like, yeah, well, your character, you're like, we, we changed it, so now he's a magical girl. I think he'd just rock that shit just to be a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like he would. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, there's another series that was adapted to manga, but not anime. I, it's probably in the process at this point, and I wouldn't be surprised if it does uh, Sherlock, the BBC series Sherlock. There is a manga oh, yeah. for it, and it's fucking wonderful um you can actually buy it in stores now like it's it's ported over already wow. um but yeah i saw it when i was at barnes and nobles the other day and i was like oh shit really uh got my attention and it it was a uh, of the first uh episode of the first series so it was the the pink episode and it was really really well done so I would like to see it actually get adapted. That would be awesome, but who knows? So it's, it's nice to see that we can see something that has been imagined in uh, the Western, like thought of and created by, but then be brought over to the Eastern and really uh, reimagined, like literally reimagined. It gets, it's completely different and just beautiful. So it's just nice. Our uh, our lovely Loha is on point with his lovely? research. Yes, he's absolutely lovely. Gorgeous. And stunning. Just like you are, Kawaii Kenny, and this is marvelous Mark. I don't have one because fuck my alliteration. What are you talking but, about? <laughs> great example. The Animatrix. Yeah, I forgot about that completely. I completely forgot about that, and it kills me because I'm a I. I'm obviously not now, but I was a huge Matrix nerd, like, back in the day. Like, when that shit came out, I loved watching that. It was just such a cool movie, action, and yep. really metaphysical, like, mindfuckery. But it was basically nine shorts by the Wachowski siblings that basically gave you Matrix backstory. And they were all radically different. Some were CG. Some were very decidedly anime. Some were uh, really just backstory. And I remember there is one moment where uh, they combine CG uh, and traditional 2D. And that was an amazing example because that's not an adaptation. That is a very American story, a sci-fi dystopian future kind of thing mm -hmm. that got kicked over and given subject matter that not only supported but was part of the canon. And that was just honestly an amazing example. Another one that I actually really loved because it made so much sense that they did this. And I don't know if you guys had watched it. The Highlander anime it was I, actually I've, really funny. I have heard of it. I've, I haven't it seen it. It wasn't good, but it was funny. I haven't funny. seen it. Yeah. It was all right. I'd say it was all right at best. But um, it, was, it was interesting. The fight scenes were a little meh. But, I mean, it's Highlander. But the one thing on this list I definitely did not anticipate seeing at all was Lilo and Stitch. Yeah. I had <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, no hmm. goddamn idea that Lilo and Stitch had an anime rendition. I have no idea any background of it. It just... <laughs> holy crap. That's uh... just the most random thing I could think of. I mean, uh, Transformers, that's one thing, but... Them turtles, though. <laughs> would, you like to talk, would you like to talk about that? I Kenny, just... Would you like to throw that up? I'm not talking about it. I just think it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Holy we, shit. We need, to, we need to be better at the, the whole broadcast switch-up thing. Yeah. 
you know, work on that. That'll make these more fun. But there's a uh, look it up yourselves because it's friggin' hilarious. Teenage Mutant. Uh, Teenage just drop the link in the chat. Oh, let me let me kick that over yep. for you for you all. Yeah, I would uh, do it, but my hands are full. The, the very the very last sentence. I don't know uh, if that's gonna this, work. Of this little excerpt is just no, wait until the turtles work. transform yeah, once more. Oh. Combining into their ultra super awesome ultimate forms, the Turtle Saints. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> the it's Saints like, uh, of Turtles, dude. What is it? Uh, Saint Seiyu or something like that? Uh, what, <laughs> that's what, that? what I'm expecting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google yeah. that. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm imagining. Is it's, it's Saint Seiyu, but with. Did, oh my god! <laughs> did, did they turn uh, friggin' April O'Neil? Well, it makes sense, Ninja though. Girl? You remember when Ninja Turtles were on Power Rangers? Do you remember yes. that? So yes. like I'm yeah, not they, really they surprised. Met, met yeah, people made a they they, they always uh, throw the gif up. It's like uh or not gif. But yeah, it's a gif. It's like uh when when you and your crew get go out and get drunk and meet another really chill crew. Yeah. And it's like the Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles together. It's like the greatest shit, man. Wait, did uh, they just like combine together? What is going on? Into four turtles. <laughs> no, into one turtle. I just don't ask no, questions anymore. Like, so like they did a Voltron thing? Yeah, That's what I thought, but I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, please no. Um, so why wasn't Voltron brought up? Voltron, um, along with He-Man and ah, oh, God help me. The other one. Cats, Thundercats. Thundercats, yeah. Thundercats. Because Voltron has a fan base of an oh. anime. Like it, it's definitely like. I remember when it was the newest one was released on uh, Netflix. That shit was all over my Twitter, uh, my timeline. Oh, yeah. Like literally, everyone was just talking about it, and everyone's pumped about it. It's literally everything you'll see at uh, the an artist alley when you go to like the cons. You'll actually see that shit all the time, and you're like, "Why is this here?" But it's there. Oh my god! Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. All right, they literally form together. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, here you go, guys. This is for you as well. You should they be able to yeah. ask. Thank they you. Form I was, I was kick that up. together <laughs> with I just... stones. I'm just so confused. I couldn't. I just. It's so, very hey, impressive. Oh, shit. On that note, my question is: so, like, He Man and um, uh, Thundercats decidedly, like. 1970s Hanna Barbara, Hanna, Hanna Bar, Barba. I, fuck me. <laughs> Cartoon Network. Hello? Cartoon Network. Before Cartoon Network. Real quick. He's having yeah. strokes. No. You want to know why I didn't bring a Voltron? Because I thought it was Japanese. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at that. Good example. That shit looks like yeah. that, bro. From Japan. It does. It does. Yeah, because it's a I... space mecha thing. You know? Yeah. Like, well, that's it was inspired they had, like, by like silver Gundam hawks and, all and shit. something else like that. That's very decidedly like that. But uh, God, Mark, Mark's comment. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> he derailed it. the shit out of me there. Um. So when you look at something like that, would you say that Power Rangers is in that as well? With uh... yeah, uh, yes. But it's not an animation. Yeah, yeah an but animation. It, it still fits. It, it, it is Western it's pulled over. Eastern yeah. stuff yanked over and then yes. cut into pieces and then yes. taped back together into mm -hmm. what we have as Power Yeah, because I remember when that new Genji skin came out, everyone was like, ooh, it was either, oh, it's a Power Ranger or, oh, it's, um, what do they call it over there again? I forgot. Sentai Rangers. Yeah. Sentai. Uh, Super oh Sentai. Super Sentai. <sighs> Yeah, it's uh, definitely not for me. I remember when I was in Japan, we were watching like Saturday morning cartoons and shit, and that came on, and I'm like, "What's going on?" I have no fucking <laughs> clue. It's, it's like, like it's funny because the production quality is like top notch, versus like Power Rangers, and you're just like, "Are we watching like a drama? Like what's going on?" And then like out of nowhere, he's like, "Wait, <laughs> Wait did anybody sound like Tommy?" No. Like when they were first. <laughs> so I was just impressed to see that level of uh, quality in there. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. When I do MMA, like 
and my coach is in a pissed off mood and we have to do just retarded levels of exercise. When you said MMA, I, I thought would, you said I anime. <laughs> no, 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 no. When we not, my I, I heard the same thing. I heard the same thing. I will, like, I will actually just full on just channel some Dragon Ball Z level shit in my mind and just, like, kick over and over again. Like, I mean, we're talking 50 kicks in 30 seconds. It's fucking ridiculous. But that's the sort of thing that, like, it permeates your brain. That sort of thing. It, it, it's really entertaining. Um, man. Another good example. Of this crossbow. I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, is my shell fucked up? Might be all of us. That. I hope not. Possible. Well. Yeah. Mark, okay. say some shit. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah we're all signing for robots. Alright, cool. Yeah. So, we're going to end it here. <laughs> we're cut this podcast short. <laughs> We're ending it here because technical difficulties. technical difficulties. Um, I'm not sure, you know. At the same time, I kind of wanted to sound like a robot, so it's pretty tight. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching Black Yeah, we can turn the turtle thing together. Yeah. This is the Wrath of Ultron because uh, we <laughs> forgot about it. All right, yeah, so yes. please, you know, follow us. You know, we definitely would appreciate having you guys come every week. We love talking about anime video games. Next week, we're going to be talking about anime again. And uh, also, check out our blog. Make sure you like and comment on our posts. Let us know what you like and what you don't like. If you hate us, then that's fine. We still love you. So, yeah. Thank you. So, you guys have a good one. Later. Bye.